Greco is an advanced version of our boulder push, with a primary objective to increase flexibility through your hamstrings, groin, and hip area. What makes the Greco push harder than the boulder push, the front leg is going to do most of the work in pushing forward, and the challenge is to try to step as far in front of the plate as possible. To start this task, have the plate on the end zone line, then choose one foot as your back foot so it is parallel to the end zone line and just behind the plate. Then with your other foot, step far in front of the plate with the toe pointed forward. You'll notice that this stance is similar to a squawk stance that's also used in other tasks like kobold, mongoose, swashbuckler, and many others. From here, squat down and place your hands on the plate as if you're about to push it. Then drive with your front leg all the way out into a plank position and then bring your back foot right next to it. People who do not get the rhythm of this task do not fully extend with the leg or the hips that's driving forward. They don't know where to put their trailing foot. One easy way to fix this is to keep the back leg up in the air while thrusting forward with the front leg. Always stay with the same leg leading on the way down the field. Switch the leg on the way back. One of the most important things that'll help you keep the rhythm of this task is to pay attention to which foot starts the movement after the plank position. It should always be the trailing foot, that is the foot that's just behind the plate. So if we were to slow it down, notice how the right foot is the back foot. Then he pushes out into a full plank position. Then the next step again is with the right foot and then the left foot steps far in front of the plate as far as possible. Always continue in this manner so that the back foot is always going to be the first one to step, therefore giving you a little more distance on the lead foot. On your plank, make sure you're not arching your back or sagging your hips. And another small but critical part of the movement is initiating the push with your quads. An indicator that you're not doing the push correctly is if your hands change placement on the plate while doing it. Your hands should always remain in the same spot from the beginning to the end of the push. In many instances, people will do somewhat of a potty shot to get the plate forward and then push or fall into the full plank position. Doing this little potty shot movement greatly takes away some of the benefit of this exercise as it's probably the most critical part of the squat and the hamstring movement forward. And while this clip here is of a regular boulder push, it shows two different ways to start the plate push done by the same person on the same task. Notice how the first one is done without any movement of the hands on the plate, and you can see that she uses more of her quads in doing so. Now the second one may even be hard to catch. Most people who do a potty shot start are a little more obvious. This one is so minor, but if you notice, she'll get the plate started and her hands will rotate inward a little bit, and if you're able to pay attention to her hips at the same time, she uses less of her quads to drive forward.